Okay, here's a turnout for the books. Uh, collection of battlefield memorabilia. And if we look at this one, Got Mittens, which is God with us. That's the Nazis for you. And so, that's the uh, USS Hornet, which once, before they got rockets to deliver nukes, actually carried nukes. This was once uh, capable of, of dropping nukes, but the they, they were flying crappy little planes, of course, so they had to sort of lob their nukes in, and there was a... Uh, uh, um, whether they would have survived the blast is an, uh, an entirely different question, but it was at the time capable of nuking people. So, that's the uh, island. Okay, this was actually the carrier that recovered the Apollo 11 <coughs> astronauts, and it's also when they first got the Apollo astronauts back, they had a fear that they would bring back a space plague with them, which seems rather comical now, but they wore full body suits. And then they got into a welded shut Airstream trailer where they then stayed for three weeks, I think. Um, but by the time they launched the next Apollo, they'd sort of worked out that this was kind of pointless. And the, the Apollo 12, um, yeah, their quarantine only lasted only 11 days. So this is actually on board the Hornet that the Apollo 11 crew came back. And they've got some really quite nice exhibits here, um, including uh, some nice cutaways of the command module. Uh, Apollo 13. This one I particularly like because this actually uh, shows the rotation of the moon uh, relative. So when when they launched, when they stayed on the moon, and when they came back, including and it, it, it's, it's is this to scale? Uh, I don't think so. I think I think the moon is 60 Earth radii out. That looks like only about 30, but I. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, the diameter diameters look about right. So yeah, this is the lower the, the low moon orbit, or yeah, lunar orbit insertion and Earth orbit. You get a real feel for how close to the planet you are for the orbit, relative to how far you have to go for the moon. Yeah, and yeah, these are the, of course, stages where you have this very ballsy thing that you have to do, um, where you have to get your command module off, turn it around and dock uh, to get your lunar module back. It's also got some quite interesting stuff on the early Gemini stuff, where it really, this was a capsule um, based around sort of two men sitting down, and they had fairly modest objectives like you know keep keeping a man alive in space for uh, uh, several hours or something they also have a rather nice model of a Saturn V complete with a cutaway for the uh, lunar excursion module and it really gives you a feel for how big the command module primary uh, rocket was compared to excursion. Here you have the biological exclusion suit or gear big it was cool and here you have this is actually one of them this isn't the Apollo 11 one but this is actually one of the mobile quarantine facilities and they've actually got one of the original command modules as well this was I think the prototype which they were sort of testing to, you know, for structural integrity and all that sort of thing, which they're refurbishing. But apparently it's all based on about three men sitting down. And as you can see, the wiring was... This looks about right for the original wiring. And obviously it's all really light. 
so they have sort of cutaways on the side and if you go around the back you have the various gases but you really do get a feel for how crude this thing was now interestingly the actual uh, airframe of these things hasn't changed that much I don't think um, over, over the years but the electronics has changed vastly so I think if you come around the back here you get into yeah here you go you see your, oh, your oxygen fill helium helium vent and so on and liquid oxygen too so that's one of the uh, top of the command module For perspective. Okay, just to put things into perspective, that behind me is one of the Gemini capsules, and these things were pretty tiny, as you can see when they actually got them, got them to uh, back to Earth. There really wasn't that much space in them, and they had really quite limited objectives. Uh, subject two man supporting equipment. Uh, yeah, and they wanted to be able to dock in space. They needed to be able to dock, otherwise Apollo wasn't a goer. Um, yes, and <laughs> uh, to work out how to get back to Earth. Test technology, such as computer guidance, fuel signal cell management. Um, and meanwhile, this thing, this is the, this is the, this is the test capsule, which they took up on one of the test Apollos and its objectives were basically just to test the system out for structural integrity and to test the Saturn V rocket which all went pretty well so I got it back <laughs>